um, the first joint event of Kendall College's School of Business and the Midwest Society of Professional Consultants, which we call MSPC. I'm a past president of MSPC and a longtime consultant for sure. So I was picked to sort of direct traffic during the meeting. Now let me introduce our two co-hosts. First of all, Herb Shields, who is president of MSPC this year. And uh, he is going to make some remarks about how MSPC got into this venture. I'm purposely doing Michelle Cousins second because she has another role tonight. She's going to be the moderator for the panel. So when she concludes her remarks, she can just move right into that. So first of all, Herb Shields. Uh, yeah, as Judith uh, graciously said, I'm Herb Shields, currently uh, president of the Midwest Society of Professional Consultants. Uh, I'm going to confine my remarks tonight to uh, quite a few thank yous and then just a minute or two uh, on, you know, MSPC. Uh, so first I want to thank uh, the folks at Kendall who have uh, graciously agreed to co-host this event with us tonight. Uh, Michelle Cousins, who you'll hear from in just a minute, uh, was our primary contact, but as I'm sure you already can see, there's a number of other uh, Kendall uh, participants in this event, which uh, we really appreciate. We're, um, we have met over the years as an organization in a number of different venues here in Chicago. Uh, those of you with uh, uh, perhaps as much gray hair as I have will remember the Como Inn uh, we were, uh, you know, a favorite participant at the Como Inn for, for many, many years. And we've uh, tried some other venues over the years. So we're looking at uh, uh, this, op this is an opportunity for us to get to know Kendall and uh, the facility here, as well as the folks at the business school. Um, so my first thank you is to, is to Michelle and the people at Kendall for, for uh, graciously hosting, you know, this with us. and. Um, clearly uh, providing uh, refreshments that uh, are their expertise, not our expertise, at least for the most part. Uh, secondly, I'd like to thank the panelists. I've had the pleasure of meeting all of them uh, earlier uh, before we got started, and uh, having sat on some panels myself, it's always a, a somewhat uh, you know, daunting task. Uh, you want to say something uh, brilliant, but you're not the featured speaker, so it becomes a challenge as to how to accomplish that. But thank you to the panelists in advance for the, uh, the wisdom you're going to share with us on a very important topic to those of us who are independent consultants. Uh, I'd also like to thank all of you for coming. Um, we have events at least quarterly at MSPC, and uh, this is our second event for calendar 2011. We will shortly be announcing uh, the fall event on our website, and we would look forward to having all of you uh, come back for that. Um, so thank you all for coming tonight. I, I think we have a very interesting program. Uh, Michelle will actually introduce the panel and, and give you a little more uh, information about all of them, but I, I'm sure you'll find it to be a thought-provoking discussion the rest of the evening. Uh, and my uh, last thank you goes to Judith Starkey, who introduced me. Uh, Judith is a past MSPC president, has an equal number of scars uh, to those that I've accumulated, um, and has, you know, had volunteered uh, to help us put this event together, so certainly my thanks to her as well. Uh, just a little about MSPC. Uh, we are a Chicago-based organization of independent professional consultants. Uh, I like to describe us as a pretty eclectic group. Uh, we have people, you know, from a number of different practice areas, a number of different industries, um, all generally based in, in the Chicago area, and all uh, independent or perhaps with one or two employees. Uh, our mission is pretty simple. Uh, we try and provide educational opportunities for our members, such as this type of program, where hopefully we'll all learn something, no matter uh, how long it may be that we've been on our own as consultants. Uh, we try and help our, you know, help our members and each other uh, build our businesses. That's a challenge for anybody who's 
an independent service provider because when you're out doing the work, you're not looking for the work. When you're looking for the work, you're not doing the work. So you're always, uh, you know, trying to balance at least uh, five or six things that would be nice to delegate to somebody else. But uh, these days, when I look behind me for my staff, there's nobody there. So uh, we all face that kind of challenge, you know, as members of MSPC. And finally, uh, the third thing we try and do is occasionally have some fun. And uh, as an organization, we've had in the past some fun events, including uh, uh, a Lake Michigan dinner cruise. We've had holiday parties. And those things are all always something that we have on our list of possibilities. So we clearly um, try and keep the focus professional, but also try and on occasion do some things that provide some uh, some different kinds of perspective for our members. Uh, we will have a fall event, as I said, that will be on the website. Uh, the website's listed in the brochure, so I, I, you know, I'll, I'll trust all of you to, at your leisure, uh, take a look at the website. The other thing I'll point out is that if you want to get an idea of who these eclectic, uh, who makes up this eclectic membership, uh, there is a membership roster on the site so you can get to know at least who we all are and what we're all engaged in doing. Uh, now I'm going to turn the microphone over to Michelle and let her introduce the panel. But again, thank you all for coming. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to Kendall College. I'm glad you all could join us this evening for the panel discussion. I want to thank MSPC, particularly Nancy Abate and Herb Shields for making the co-sponsorship possible. I'd also like to thank Judith Starkey for partnering with the Kendall Events Department and with me in organizing tonight's event. I hope that tonight will be the first of many different types of collaborations between our organizations going forward. Before I get started, I'd like to say a few words about Kendall College and our innovative School of Business. For 75 years, Kendall College has been offering engaging, specialized fields of study with a strong emphasis on immersive learning that is geared to academic, personal, and professional success. Kendall College cultivates students' passions into rewarding professions through rigorous learning experiences in the classroom, local communities, and the world. Our School of Business generates graduates who are professionally savvy, globally driven, and services oriented. Our Bachelor of Arts degree in Business is a generalist program preparing students for a variety of industries and fields. It has several, several concentration options, including management, psychology, small business management, food service management, and culinary arts. Our new Bachelor of Arts in Food Service Management just launched this week, in fact, literally today, focuses on the big business of food large-scale and complex production, retail, and distribution. Both the Bachelor of Arts in Business and the BA in Food Service Management engage students through living case studies where students consult and work for companies and organizations, mandatory internships and networking requirements, as well as simulations and integrative site-based projects. And both degrees offer traditional weekday programs as well as blended learning programs where adult learners can come back and participate online and on Saturdays. So now, let's start this dynamic program. What businesses really want from consultants from those who hire them. Tonight, we hope that you will learn how to create, build, and maintain lasting relationships, whether you hire consultants, you are a consultant, or maybe you're just thinking about becoming a consultant. Our stellar list of panelists is going to answer questions around how they find and work with consultants in their various business operations. This evening's panelists' experiences span numerous for-profit and not-for-profit industries. 